Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Old, dusty and in a bad state. Well, these words best describe the state of the Katamaso Clinic in the Tungkatamaso Municipality of the Greater Accra Region. Healthcare workers want the facility renovated to attract more patients, especially pregnant women. The Katamanso Health Center is the only health center serving residents of Katamanso in the Don Katamanso Municipality of the Greater Accra Region. The facility is in a bad state. Katamanso Clinic is one of our oldest clinics. However, the sighting of the clinic is an issue. The place is a bit waterlogged. So it happens that the water levels have risen to the point where it's almost close to the window frames. So you see on their walls that it's all peeling off because of the dump in the soil. So the dump has risen on the walls in Katamaso Clinic. And this has led to the bungalow for the midwife to be abandoned. This abandoned maternity block was first utilized as a bungalow for the facility's midwife and physician assistant. Due to the increasing number of patients trooping into the facility, it was used as a maternity unit. But for some years now, the facility has been abandoned. So when we started, the whole place was devastated. And you can see it for yourself. It has been left without any maintenance. You sit in here and snakes just crawl in. No one would like to come for an NSC or delivery around this place because the whole building is just off. It's turning off. It's just peeling off. And when you look at it, it doesn't give you the incense to come. So it is affecting our coverage too. Cars that comes here, sometimes they stuck in there when they are trying to move out. Because of that, many people don't want to patronize the place, especially those who drive. And then also, looking at the waterlogged nature of the place, people fear, you know, the unexpected may happen. But if a building is sited in a waterlogged area and, you know, you are coming in, you may think maybe anything can happen at any time. When you look around, you can still see there are a lot of brown areas, including the ceilings and the rest. The facility is now very dusty, overgrown with grass, and a breeding ground for reptiles. It gets flooded and waterlogged any time it rains, compelling the old paint to peel off. The maternity unit has now moved to the OPD, but has inadequate space to operate effectively. Residents want the health center renovated for them to enjoy quality health care. Due to the bad state of the health center, some residents seek health care in other communities like Tema. This is due to the fact that the hospital is without a laboratory. There is no development here at this health center, compelling most of us to go to other health facilities to access health care. There's no laboratory here. This place is also overgrown, so most of us access health care at private clinics. You can identify hospital. I'm appealing to government to renovate this facility for us, especially pregnant women. The mission team was tipped off by some residents about the construction of a new facility for the Katamonsu Health Center, which had stalled. When mission got to the site, work had indeed stalled. We sought answers from the Municipal Chief Executive of Don Katamonsu. We have now started the work on Agbishi Lai. The contractor has come back to site. He has been able to deck the place and he is now going to continue to do the first floor. So definitely... Everything is moving. But you don't know the date? For completion? Oh, no. I believe by the close of the year, we shouldn't be able to complete that new facility. Mission will continue to follow up on this story and bring updates to viewers. Speakers at the Star Ghana Foundation and Media General Forum have backed calls to encourage more women to take part in local governance and decision-making positions. And the forum, on the back of the upcoming district-level assembly elections, 
recognizes that women representation without effective women participation will still yield little results. The forum seeks to expand the debate on women's participation in the country's political decision making. Though women represent 51% of the population, their representations in Ghana's politics is always below 10%. Head of Gender and Disability at the Electoral Commission, Abigail Nutako, noted that participation of women in politics must not be limited to being a candidate but also holding several key positions in the electoral process. It must be made clear that participation in elections does not only mean being a candidate. Usually when we talk about women's participation, people think it is women being a candidate, but they can participate as voters, as election officials, as observers, as candidate agents, or any other, apart from being a candidate. So the underrepresentation of women and PWD at any level of governance and decision making results in a democratic deficit. Women's development coach and administrator at the Central University, Irama Bening, said a personal survey of 400 women revealed that 61% of them said they were not interested in politics because they fear reputation damage and political violence that characterizes elections in Ghana. She said women will not be comfortable with political participation if the nation does not get rid of violence and reputation damage in politics. On both fronts, women have the short end of the stick. On the demand side, women generally lack resources needed, especially in the district assembly level, where there are no parties to assist. How can you succeed to win the vote when all the gatekeepers in the party are men? How can you change age-old beliefs about the role of women in leadership? These are all challenges that make it difficult for women to succeed. To make this less theoretical, I decided to carry it a survey to ask women whether they would consider going into politics. I surveyed about 400 people. 31% said they would consider going into politics, but 69% said they would not. She further indicated that gender quota system has not worked favorably, adding that women representation without participation will not be the solution to all the issues affecting women. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.